Radical. You know what pokes some fun at Microsoft for their lackluster lineup of new-ish consoles that they brought out? One is white, and one has some speckles of galaxy dust on it. whoop de freaking do But when it comes to not even trying, we have the Sony PlayStation 5 Pro. The box for the PlayStation 5 is exactly the fucking same as the box for the PlayStation 5 Pro. It's exactly the same. The system is exactly the same. There's a couple new lines on the PlayStation 5 Pro. <laughs> whoop de freaking do And uh, the PlayStation 5 Pro, if you don't know, actually has better hardware. Can make your PlayStation 5... <laughs> No, wait. Can make your PlayStation 4 games like The Last of Us 2 look a little tiny bit better. whoop de fucking do What a what a massive upgrade. I'll tell you what a massive... I'll tell you what a massive um, middle finger the box art is to lovers of physical media like myself. The PlayStation 5 Pro, which is the first console to ever come out in the box without a boxed option of a disk drive. This company, Sony, has the fucking audacity, the sheer audacity, the tone deafness on the box to not put digital only, but they're trying to spin the fact that it doesn't have something that has been available with every other single PlayStation 5 system as an option before. The PlayStation 5 Pro has discless in the top right corner. It says 4K, it says HDR, then it says discless with a fucking line right through a disc. As a person would do when they put a line through something that they don't like or you don't need, which is the opposite when it comes to a disk drive. We have come to this day, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, people, we have come to a time where the companies are trying to push out gaming consoles that have always have, they've always had disc. They've always had ownership as a option, standard. The big selling point of a console versus something like a PlayStation, I mean a PC, <laughs> well, that's a Freudian slip here. PlayStation seems to be more and more like PC because more and more of their games are going to PC, but same thing with Microsoft. But the big difference between a console and a computer was the feeling of ownership. Having a disc in your hand. Being able to take that, resell it, do whatever you want to. You know, slap your lover on the ass with it. Whatever you'd like to do with it, it is yours. Display, put it up. Show off your collection to other people. You know, the positives of having actual game ownership. You kind of want those things. At least I would want those things. I don't, I don't understand who would not want those things, or at least have an option to have those things. Even if you like digital-only gaming. Even if, if that's your thing. You're going to tell me that you don't like the option on your brand new system? For your buddy to come over and bring one of their disc games, even if, you know, you don't want to have an actual physical collection. Whoops, you don't get that with a disc-free console. Not a disc less, not a digital, but Sony put disc-free. Now, what's the difference between this? I think Sony's trying to do their best to spin it as a positive. Let me explain. Now, when you ever, when you ever see something like a bag of potato chips... And there used to be something called trans fats, I think, that was on the potato chips. Now, it, they'll say trans fat free. It's not fat free, but it's trans fat free. You get it? Like, like they do with food. Like those are harmful things. Sony's basically saying, hey, it's discless. Don't worry about those pesky discs. <laughs> it's, it's about 2025. You know, psh. No one uses disc anymore. Who wants ownership? So this is them basically trying to campaign to stomp out 
every bit of physical media, and they're not alone in it. You know, Microsoft, I think they're right down that alley. At least we still have, say what you will about Nintendo and a lot of the things they do that's fucked up. At least Nintendo seems to still be dedicated to physical media. So hats off to Nintendo for still being, apparently, they have no plans to go digital only, I don't think. Nintendo understands and knows that a lot of people that buy their systems are collectors. I don't like the trajectory and where gaming is going, to say the least. Also, interesting thing, interesting thing that I'll add here, again, because I don't have all the time in the world to make separate uploads on these things, is apparently <laughs> there's a lot of scalping going on in the UK when it comes to the disk drive. So one side effect of having a system like the PlayStation 5 Pro that doesn't come with the disk drive inside of it is, guess what? In places like the UK, where you have to buy things secondhand, you are fucked if you're trying to find a $100 disk drive to add to your already expensive PlayStation 5 Pro. I read that scalpers are scalping them things for half a grand. I say the only uh, positive to come from this is... Sony, pay attention. Some people are willing to pay up to half a grand to be able to play their disc PlayStation 4 games on the PlayStation 5 Pro. And you might think the system, the PlayStation 5 Pro, is not selling and it's a dud, but apparently there's a lot of crazy motherfuckers out there in the world because it's sold out on Amazon, sold out on Best Buy. Maybe there's a low supply. I'm not sure, but it's sold out. It's the best-selling console right now. Now, will that continue past November? We'll see. But Sony kind of feels like, well, not only can they release a PlayStation 5 Pro without disk drive, not only can they give you the big fucking middle finger by putting that in the top right corner of the box, disk less, but they can also release it in basically the same fucking box. It's little, look at them. They're the same exact box. Used to be a time when it was a big deal when a new console released. It was exciting. Different colors, you know, different box, different experience, you know. I mean, look at all the, the Game Boy iterations through the years. It was a big deal when Nintendo released a new handheld. It was a different experience. But now with the PlayStation 5 Pro, you know, most everything's pretty much similar. The system looks the same, and you're stuck playing PlayStation 4 games like The Last of Us 2. And, uh, you know, maybe like a handful of PlayStation 5 exclusives, but uh, it's just kind of weird. I can't get over I can't get over that. I can't get past that. They're demoing PlayStation 4 games to show off the PlayStation 5 Pro. And lastly... Uh, there's no, there's no huge Sony games to my knowledge that are releasing with the PlayStation 5 Pro. Wouldn't it be cool if there was a, a brand new Sony game to actually release alongside the Pro on the same day, maybe? To give you more of a reason to get the system? Hmm? 